Are you ready for the Space Jam? Are you ready to have your childhood raped in the face? Good. I, I see we're on the same page then. One day some aliens land in Looney Land, which is apparently underground, to capture the Looney Tunes, to bring them back, to capture the Looney Tunes and bring them back to their interstellar amusement park. So the Looney Tunes hold a union meeting and have a collective agreement where they trick the aliens into letting them have a chance to defend themselves. Being as the aliens are short and pudgy, Bugs Bunny challenges them to a basketball game. So the aliens learn about basketball and they go and they steal a whole bunch of NBA stars' talent, like Charles Barkley, which turns them from little pudgy guys into 80 foot tall monsters. And they name their team, wait for it, the Mean Team. So Bugs Bunny decides he's going to recruit Michael Jordan to play with them. Thing is, in the real world, Michael Jordan doesn't play basketball anymore, he plays baseball, and he's really bad at it. This actually happened, he retired for a while. But when the movie was being made, he was just coming out of retirement and going back into the NBA. There's cameos all over the place, there's a cameo from a ton of different NBA stars, baseball stars, there's a cameo from Newman, from Seinfeld, and there's also an appearance by Bill Murray. Pretty sure Danny DeVito plays, does some voice acting in there too. We also get the Smurfette principle applied, and we have Lola Bunny. Ever notice that it's okay for male cartoon characters to run around naked, while female cartoon characters have to wear girly clothes? It's kind of obvious why she never appears in a Warner Brothers cartoon before this. She's not funny, but she is hot. Even Tweety thinks so. To the show's credit, it is actually the best integration between live action and animation since Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Also, there's a really, really cool shot just before they start the second half where Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam do the pose from Pulp Fiction. It's badass. It's kind of cool because the movie has a good sense of humor about itself. Uh, the funniest part isn't even out of the Warner Brothers cartoons, though they do have a lot of classic kind of gags. The funniest part is these poor NBA players who've had their souls taken away and are wandering around trying to figure out why anybody can beat them at basketball now. And at one point, they go to a psychic who sees the whole plot of the movie up to that point in her crystal ball, which the NBA players reject outright as ridiculous. Also, Bill Murray has a great line where he's like, he doesn't even know why he belongs in the movie. Anyway, so after a harrowing game that really has no plot significance other than that it has to dominate the third act of any sports-based movie, uh, it comes down to one point in those magic 10 seconds left on the clock, and Michael Jordan realizes that while he's in Looney Land, the rules of physics don't apply. So he gets a three-point slam dunk from the center line. Kind of nullifies all the challenge that the movie had to this point. Get this, though. The original 1996 website for this movie is still online, unaltered. Link down there. See what the web was like back in the days of dial-up. They did make a second movie, kind of in this spirit, called Looney Tunes Back in Action. Just, just don't watch it. Full stop. No. Get the hell out of my camera. <laughs>